Okay, the hardest part is knowing when to talk and when to start. It's like playing a game of double dutch. I don't know when to jump in. I don't know what to say, but I know that like I got subscribers and I've been trying to be as authentic as possible and I'm I'm protein and I'm trying to rebuild my life and I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to help myself. That's why I started this channel so I can go back and just watch these things that I've said of everything that I've learned. So I went through a breakup and the breakup is over. I mean, I, I talk no contact and do things, but like me, I know it's over and I'm okay with that. And you have to accept that things are over. But I'm gonna tell you one of the best things that I did. One of the best decisions that I made was like to leave my job. Like I didn't have a career. Like I'm in my forties. I don't have a career. Okay. I lift weights. I'm cool. Like I do my thing. I'm not the type of dude that makes like two hundred thousand dollars a year. You know, like women according to public standard, women want this guy to make a hundred thousand dollars a year, six figures, six foot, six inches, all that shit. I'm not that person. And I'm okay with that. And I think a lot of guys, you got to be like, man, you got to know who you are. Like, I'm okay. Like, if they want that, they can go have that. Fine. I understand it. And a lot of times they have it because a lot of you and your friends, you blow up their DMs. I do not blow up a woman's DMs. Period. I do not do that. I do not give a woman any attention unless it's a woman I'm interested in. So, when I broke up with my girlfriend, I had to quit the job I was at. I had to quit the job I was at because too many people at my job saw my emotional distress. And it did not make me look masculine. And I noticed that people started to disrespect me in my job because I showed my emotion. And unfortunate as a man... You cannot show weakness. This is the hardest thing about being a man. The hardest thing about being a man, you can't even show when something hurts you. Like, my son, I, my son's mother broke up with me because I lost my grandmother and I lost my best friend within two months. I remember going to a funeral and my cousin pulled my son's mother aside and said, you got to be patient with him. Because he lost, he lost his son. And his son is the reason why we have defibrillators in college. Because my cousin Derek died at Grand Valley. He died at Grand Valley in, I think it was like 2002, 2003. And he, and he passed out during practice. So they didn't have a defibrillator. When my cousin Derek died, they put defibrillators in every gym. And when I saw him tell her that, she exited. I'm telling you guys, and this is very difficult to say, you cannot show weakness among a woman. She will exit if you show weakness. She will exit your life if you show weakness. The most difficult job it is, is for you to be a man because you have to be a solid rock. It is so difficult. It is the hardest job on the planet. Because you got to realize at any single moment that she'll leave you. She will leave you, but I'm going to tell you this, that you will become stronger. You will become stronger because it's just a woman's nature to leave you. Because she, her nature is that she has to survive. She has to survive. That is her nature. But as a man, you're going to become stronger. You're going to become more resilient. You are going to experience pain. And I'm going to tell you this. When you experience pain, you're going to experience it. You are going to become so 
strong and numb to it that it won't affect you. It will not break you. It will hurt you. It will hurt you. I'm going to tell you it's going to hurt you. But it will no longer break you. And then the minute to the fact that you know who you are. The minute to the fact that you know that it won't crumble you. You're going to you're gonna meet a woman. You're going to meet a woman. But this is the whole thing. You love yourself so much. You know that woman that is in your life will walk out any given second. And that's what makes you valuable. Because you realize you cannot invest in her. Because she's going to go with the emotions. She's going to go with whatever. And that's what makes her attracted to you. She's so attracted to you. She's like, oh, I'm so attracted to him because he takes care of himself. He does this. He does that. Okay, he's oh, he's doing all these things. Because when you went through some things, she will leave you at your worst point. And you know what you got to do? You got to accept it. You know what you got to do? You got to deal with it. Because that's what a man does. A man can deal with adversity and find a way to go grow through it. I'm going to say it one more time. A man can deal with adversity and find a way to grow through it. And it's not even about her testing you. It's not even about attracting her. It's about I understand what this is. I understand what human nature is. I understand what behavior is. And I'm okay with being with myself. Because I'm telling you right now, it's your boy Protein P. And I'm by myself and I'm coming up with these ideas. And you know what? I'm actually happy that my girlfriend left me. My girlfriend left me. I'm good. And I wish the best for her. She did what was best for her. Now I'm going to do what's best for me. And I don't need a woman. I do not need a woman to comfort me and soothe me. I need to go on this journey and figure out my purpose and what I need to do. Because that is going to give me the ultimate strength. One, the ultimate confidence. And when you are an athlete, you know, if you play a sport, when you got confidence, you know what you can do? You can do anything. So I say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one long form content five days a week. And I'm going to come out some shorts because I'm going to open y'all up. Listen, I'm in my 40s and I'm a server bartender. And when I walked into this job and they saw me, I was pre-selected as a, as a guy. And when you single and you on your grind and you pumping iron and you eating right, you got to put yourself in a position where you are around a big group of women because you need female attention to keep you focused. Don't be isolated. Women feel this shit. Women feel all this stuff too. You got to put yourself in a position where you can go to work and feel it. Why? Because you need to let women see you work. I'm going to say this one more time. You need to let women see you work. Where they're going to give you the proper female attention. Because women can be single because they get so much male attention through DMs. Because you're doing it. Because your friend's doing it. Stop giving out free validation. Stop. It's not helping the women. They don't even want it. I mean, you give it to them. They don't even want it. And if you do this, right, it's going to increase your value through the roof because you're going to be pre-selected when you put yourself in the big area. If you work around 10 women, it's not enough. You need to work around 50 women. Do you hear what I said? You need to work around 50 women where they're young, they're old, they're black, they're white, they're Asian, they're this, they're that, where people come in and they see you. And you need to be, as a man, you got to be on your shit. You got to be disciplined. Like, discipline working on your body. Discipline coming to work on time. Discipline being clean cut. Discipline, like, eating correct. They need to be around you and be like, damn, I got to, like, eat healthier. I got to work out. I got to work harder. Your presence needs to affect her behavior. Not to get her. Because she's going to watch how everybody looks at you. 
that, oh. Man, I'm trying to tell you this. Hear me out. A woman does not make a decision on how she feels about you. Let me say this one more time. A woman does not make a decision on how she feels about you. A woman makes a decision of how everybody else feels about you. Because a woman only wants you when she sees the way that everybody else looks at you. I know. It's messed up. But that's just their nature. So if everybody respects you, she's going to respect you more. Everybody loves you, she's going to respect you. She's going to love you more. If you're going to be at work and you're going to be goofy, she think you funny. She think you funny. But if enough dudes call you goofy, she believe it. That's why you always, as a man, you have to be willing that if she wants to walk away, you let her. How's your boy, Protein P? Comment. Give me some feedback from the men and the women. And we got to do better. Because you don't want to miss the person because you're not ready for them because we both acted ignorant.